if you want a light version of idli or a light breakfast then you can go with this mini idli and tove tasting amazing with this tove this place is busy but not crowded so you'll have a relaxed breakfast experience This is Kadri Manjunatha Temple in Mangaluru which is on the hills of Kadri. It is said to be built during the 10th or 11th century. This temple is a combination of Hindu and Buddhist histories. Buddhism was practiced here till 10th century AD but after the decline of Buddhism Shaivism flourished and it became a Shiva temple. The scenic beauty of the Kadri hills, the presence of the prehistoric caves and the historical and religious importance of the Manjunatha temple lend particular enchantment to this center. Hi, hello, good morning. Hope you are doing great. This is Shankar and you are watching Food and Food Only. Today I have come to another legendary place in Mangalore which is Janata Deluxe. Janata Deluxe is dishing out food for the last 30 years i think they have started somewhere around 90 so the last 3 decades janata direct is known for its culinary delights today i am going to taste the breakfast here and share my experience with you join me Okay. Starting with this kotige, which is accompanied by the tove. So kotige is nothing but the idli steamed in jackfruit leaf. This is a delicacy in the South Kannada, particularly in Udupi and uh, Mangaluru. You will see a lot of this dish idli, particularly wrapped in jackfruit leaf. I will start with this kotige. It's perfectly steamed. Looks like a rice cake. and it's very inviting so it also on one hand it looks like puttu now i will have this kotige alone mm. it's a idli where the urad dal or the udin bela is more dominant at the same time the rice is gritty and you, you can sense the uh, graininess or the texture of this idli is somewhat grainy it's different from the regular idli i think the batter also is different from the regular idli but it's tasting good now i'll dip this in this tove tove is rasam like dish where they make it with moong dal and they add all this coriander cumin seed tomato and green chili to it when it is ready they garnish it by adding some lime juice in it it is a, a kind of sambar as well as rasam i would say let me have this kotige with tove Mm. It tastes almost like a sambar. So at home, sometimes we make sambar with this moong dal. So this it tastes similar, but it is somewhat runny or watery in texture. It goes very well with this kotige, which is somewhat tame. So both are a good combination. So you dip this in the soupy texture of this tove, and then have a bite. It melts in the mouth. amazing <clears throat> it's unique and it's completely different from the regular sambar but it matches very well with this kotige i am liking it mm. the flavor of tomato as well as the lemon gives the extra tanginess even you can have it as a soup you, you can you get this to the bonda soup the soup you use for bonda soup extremely delicious normally i have had this kotte kadubu or this kotige alone Uh, are with chutney or sambar but with this tove it is excellent moving on to the sambar idli dip as i mentioned in another episode where we 
visited this restaurant called Ayodhya. Uh, that Ayodhya is a Konkani restaurant. Uh, when I say Konkani, the cuisine is a Konkani style. But here it is Udipi based. Even the aroma of sambar tells me that it is a Udipi cuisine. So let me just have the sambar alone. Mm. It's a proper Udipi style sambar, but they have added coconut to it. That's interesting. And also, when getting that sweet, tinge of sweet, because they have added jaggery to it. Mm. Excellent. So, this is also idli, rava based idli, but it goes very well with this sambar. The sambar is neither thick nor runny, so it goes well with this idli. And the sambar is so flavorful, so you get the coriander leaf and also the dominance of coriander, the ground coriander that hits you with each spoonful of the sambar. Mm. I think in the sambar they have added some tamarind. So the tanginess comes from the tamarind, but it tastes very, very good. Very nice idli and sambar. Next up is crispy piping hot Udin Vade. So, ah, I couldn't even break it. It's so hot. Oh, finally. And now I am dipping it in chutney. Mm. It's so crispy and the crunch comes in every bite. At the same time, I am seeing some oil. Because of the extra crispiness, I think the vada has drunk some oil, <laughs> but it's tasting very good. Mm. Making a crispy vada without excess oil is an art, but even the vada absorbs some oil in it, that's fine, it gives extra taste to it. Some people who are health conscious, they wouldn't prefer some extra <clears throat> dose of oil in the vada, but I am fine. Taste is important. <laughs> and I'm liking this vade. And again, in this vade also, you don't get hair packets like the vade you get in Bangalore. But here the dough is thick and the inside of vade is filled with dough. You don't see much of air packets. So it gives a pretty good bite and I'm loving it. Excellent vade. Now it's time for Kesari Bath. Kesari Bath looks somewhat brownish yellow in color. It's not like either orange or yellow, uh, like what you get in other places. Mm. So it looks like it's a banana based Kesari. I think they have mixed banana along with this rava and the semolina and made this Kesari. So that banana gives an excellent flavor to this. Wow. And it's not very sweet, so it's having medium sweetness. At the same time, uh, they have not overloaded it with ghee. And uh, I'm seeing some raisins. Overall, a very nice kesari bath. I like this kind of kesari bath because it's not very cloying. At the same time, it's easy on your tummy. Now, this kara bath. Mm. The moment you take a spoonful of karabat in your mouth, you get that flavor of turmeric powder because it is loaded with turmeric powder. At the same time, you get some bite in the form of uh, green peas. The karabat is flavorful because they have put some curry leaves and also ginger in it, and it's delicious. Mm. In this karabat, I am finding some cashew nuts. Uh, in, instead of the kesari bath, they have put cashew nuts or dry fruits in this karabat. The mustard seeds and tiny chunks of chili and shredded carrot is a wonderful experience. I think this will be my last dish here, which is mini idli tove. 
again i like the way with kotiki already now mini idlis with tove mm. ah. in the more and more i have this tove i am getting all the goodness of it uh, i am getting some small chunks of carrot then already the tomato coriander leaves curry leaves everything It gives you a wonderful flavor overload in your mouth mini idli it's similar to the other idli we had but if you want a light version of idli or a light breakfast then you can go with this mini idli and tove tasting amazing with this tove more than the sambar idli i am liking this mini idli and tove or the kottige and tove more amazing that was an amazing breakfast experience here at janata deluxe from idli sambar to kottige to ve or kesari bath kara bath everything was unique and excellent so, and the rate is also uh, not very high i wouldn't say it is cheap but at the same time it is affordable it's another good breakfast option in mangalore if you are in mangalore you can try this place thanks for watching this episode till i come up with the next one stay healthy stay safe Stay happy. Remember to subscribe. Bye.